Today's video is going to be about installing RAM and SSD into an Intel Nook. Here we've got uh, 8 gigs of Crucial Sodium. Uh, we've got a 250 gig MSATA drive. And here's the actual Intel Nook. Pretty cool. Intel included a little noisemaker and set up the power cable for the power brick, which I thought was a little silly, but um, you know this this unit's not too expensive. I think you can run $150. Um, here's the actual box. You get uh, dual HDMI and a total of three uh, USB ports as well as a gigabit Ethernet. Um, as far as getting into the case to install the components, it's fairly simple. You basically just need to remove four screws on the bottom and then uh, you pop the plate off and that gives you access to the inside. Um, and in this step you're going to see me installing the memory, which is pretty straightforward if you've ever installed RAM into anything. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, once you can get your memory out without dropping it, you basically line up the notch um, and you press it, you, you slide it in a slight angle uh, and then you press forward and down and you should hear a click and that lets you know that it's seated correctly and you go ahead and repeat the same process for the second stick, line it up with the uh, slot, slide it in an angle and then press down until you hear it click. Here I am installing the 250 gig Samsung M SATA drive. It's basically the same thing like installing RAM, you slide it at an angle, press forward and down, um, then you secure it with a screw and that's it guys. Um, there's the RAM and the MSATA drive. Uh, now I just need to put the um, back plate on and secure the screws. And this also, this plate also supports uh, VESA mounting. There's two other, there's two uh, screw holes that you might be able to see. Um, that's where the uh, screws go to actually mount to the VESA plate. So once you've got everything back on, back together, go ahead and remove the uh, plastic covering. And here's the power brick I was talking about earlier. Uh, you'll need a power cable to power it, um, but basically plug it in, turn on the nook, and the blue light should come on if everything works. Thanks guys, thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe.